That's the dumbest title I ever heard in my life. Who makes this stuff? Who oh, writes this know. stuff? Oh, oh, my hair I is messed who, up again, yes. and my staff hasn't told me about it. How terrible. Well, you're so sensitive. Every time we bring it up, you get all huffy with us and everything. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly. How you doing? Welcome to Cook and Cheap. Let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a big hurry, folks. i got to go home. But seriously. And the mail is just rolling in. Is it really? You. Oh, yeah, it is. It oh, is. yeah, it is. Poor Doris has just ruined herself. I'm telling you, Doris is in Africa. And really? I wish she Africa. was here. She really Doris will be back in, in another week, and we miss her. We haven't had a decent centerpiece on this table since she's been gone. She went to leave, and I said, Doris, she forgot the pachyderm. <laughs> uh, it's oh, a little joke there. It's oh, an elephant, well, a pachyderm. Yeah, Get it? Yeah, yeah we got it. Point. Gentlemen. Yes. Love your show. In fact, I tape it every week, and I hope you never leave. Oh, Keep that's up against the good the work. And this is FCC copyright laws. You know, we're going to send someone to your house uh -huh. and have you arrested. That's from Miss Mary Marsh in St. Petersburg, Florida. Florida. Well, thank you, Mary. I bet they're getting us on a skip down there. Oh, probably so. Here, Levin and Larry, please send us the recipes for the French show. As a lousy cook, I have always been intimidated by a kitchen and the entire process of cooking. However, watching you two makes cooking so much more fun and approachable. Thank you, Cynthia Dunham. And I don't know where Cynthia's from. Oh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Thank All right, you, well, Cynthia. M. Chris of Blacksburg says, hi, boys. Enjoy your comedy. Little guy, why no apron? Because <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I don't get it on me. Hello, Laban and Larry. Cooking Chief is great. Uh, we wish you the best, and thanks for the down-home cooking show. Happy cooking. Eleanor and Walter Martin, or Walker Martin of Blue Ridge, Virginia. How about that? And they ought to name uh, a mountain after that place. Go ahead. I think both of you gentlemen are as cute as a bug's ear. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I enjoy your program so much. What? Keep it up. Thank you so very much for the recipes. And that's from EBW. <laughs> that's all it says. <laughs> Listen, we got to go cook. Well, I still had two more letters. That's okay, right. well, we'll we read did. them next week. EBW, not his real initials. Right. We don't know. For protection. <laughs> Safe. As a bug. Oh, ear. a startling Let Dennis me. shot. Oh. It's Dennis up there on the camera. You see his name go by Dennis. Yeah. That's his name. And Woo, camera working is, is his game. Holy well, here I go sticking the knife in the hot water again, but I want to tell you something. There's nothing I could do that would ruin this thing. Well, I'm having to pre-boil something. <laughs> clear soup today, except mine is, is just, I think, a little too thick to be clear. I'm making uh, a, a minestrone. And this is uh, just a real minestrone, which is, has a clear tomato base, except this is some, a batch I cooked up yesterday, and it's really gotten thick on me. It's very easy to do. It takes a lot of uh, getting ready to do it, but once it's all ready, there's nothing to it. You cook it for two hours, and then you serve it. So the first thing you do, you start with a big pot. This recipe makes this pot. That's which a holds, lot of pot. Right. It holds a gallon or more. It will make it almost full, so this is going to make a lot of soup. You guys got nervous when I said that. And let me turn it on. I still can't get over this fine new stove. Oh, it is there. wonderful. It's uh, wonderful. And three tablespoons of vegetable oil and that. And then I, you need about a pound of onions, which is three medium-sized onions. You can play around with it. And you really need that many. Play around with the onions? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And you're going to cook the, these onions over here in this delicious uh, vegetable oil that is real hot. Mm. And if you don't believe it's delicious, Larry, I'd be glad to give you no, no, it's a, a spoonful it's of okay. it right I'm now. I'm not really interested. Thank you. And incidentally, these onions don't have to be cut up uh, real fine. Uh, it'd be better if you didn't cut them in the food processor because they would probably come out much too fine and they need to be so that you get a, a good taste of them. Huh? Huh? I wasn't paying attention well, to what I he know. said. Never does. Doesn't listen to me. Never has. Never I'm just will. so thrilled with our new kitchen this year. It's I am so too. Lovely. It's real it really pretty. Is. It's actually clean looking, don't you think, mm -hmm. out there in TV yeah. land? A lot of people complained about how nasty the old one was, and it was worse than you'll ever right. know. Well, of course, you know who complained the most was uh, <laughs> Mr. Cornell. Well, yeah, he, yeah, I believe he did. Complain Mr. Cornell is now. our uh, custodial help. Yeah. I don't know. He is our custodial engineer. You better be careful how hard you ride that horse. <laughs> get whopped upside the head oh, later he, on. He's he a little sensitive get... about it sometimes. And you see this is just, I'm using uh, three of these yellow onions. 
and you can see this is going to make just the greatest of plenty of onions. But I love the flavor of onions, so I don't mind putting them all in here. Woo! Let's add some onions down in here now. So we Holy underwear. And that stuff is hot. How long you had that on there? Just a couple of minutes, just a minute or so. And we'll just stir those onions around. These onions are going to cook until they are uh, what I would call uh, limp, kind Beg of wilted, wilted. Wilted. All right. By the way, if anybody's interested uh, in what I'm going to do today, well, Johnson has taken up most of the program. Well, of course, he had to get started. In sure, all and because there is so much stuff to do, and I just didn't think they'd really care too much about what you were doing. But I mean, you know, go ahead if you want to. I'm, I mean, it's all right with me. I don't care, you know. Go ahead and make your soup. Going to we'll do... We'll probably gag on it anyway. Carrot soup. Carrot soup. Carrot soup. And what I'm doing right now is I'm defrocking these carrots. Well, Larry. Well, I've taken these things and I've, you know, cut all the bad parts off of them, the tops and the bottoms, and now I don't have any of this fancy schmancy stuff, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a knife and I'm doing this. See, to get all the junk off the side of it there, you've got to be very careful because you rake that across that thumb, boy, that's a mess. You don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm just kind of cleaning them up a little bit. You don't absolutely have to, but see, there's real bad corruption on the side of that, and you want to get that off there. You'll turn off all your friends and lose all your neighbors, and, and that's what I'm going to do for a while. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this pound of carrots in a couple of minutes, but now back to Dr. J, who has so much to do. Well, now I am about to uh, mash these three cloves of garlic into submission. And uh, the smasher is back. <laughs> and put those down in here with the onions, and we'll leave the. Well, this is. It works on other shows. What, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> When you just pull a little, there we go. Ooh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. mm. Now that's three mm. cloves of garlic in here, and you stir that around, and now I've got a, oh, I, well, look, Larry, we can scrape carrots together. Let's all scrape carrots together, boys and girls. The family that scrapes Ooh. carrots together what? stays together. Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, but Laban? What? You're throwing it all over the electrical Well, I know, cable. but nobody can see it. You're going to be cleaning it. this up for six years. And you know for yourself that ain't nobody around here going to short circuit on a carrot peel. <laughs> and we're, we're adding one carrot. Yeah. Thinly chopped to this mess. Oh, man. Oh, me. Oh, my. And you need to, these are your little pot vegetables, they're called. Pot vegetables? Uh-huh. That goes in there now. And we're going to add, woo! Those people out in California like that. Stir this pot right here. And let me rinse off my celery. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good shot. What was it? Oh, a view down in the... No, you're hind in. Oh, hi. I, I did realize they were on me. I'm still scraping these carrots. I've got three more to go, for those of you that are keeping count. Later. Now, on those other shows on TV, cooking shows, they'd tune in here and you'd never see anybody go to all the trouble to cut up a, Thank a piece heavens of celery. for that. You'd just have two little bowls and they'd dump it right out of there. But on Cooking Cheap, we want you to see... We want you to recognize all the misery that goes in. The drudgery of cooking. Uh, the drudgery of cooking right here. There's nothing easy about it. All right. There's the celery. You notice I went and put an apron on after that person got a little uppity with me about the apron? Oh, yeah, you did. Didn't you? I'm a little sensitive about it. Now mm -hmm. I thought I'd better wear an apron. So I'm All right, wearing an now, apron. those vegetables are in there. While they're in there, we will, I've got to peel this potato. This is a large potato. <sighs> Mm. 
I was reading a story yesterday about growing potatoes in a compost pile. Sounded real interesting. No stuff. Uh-huh. Huh. And it sounded a lot easier than, <laughs> than digging a hole somewhere to mm. do it. Mmm. There's a cow here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, look at this. Can you believe this? This, this potato. Has, oh, me. Well, how are you doing, Bly? Huh? Oh, I'm doing fine. How about you? Oh, I'm good. I've had a little misery. Oh, you mean how am I doing yeah. with the... Oh, well, yeah. Now, it's ladies and gentlemen, you do not keep the potato peels. You throw them away. And we're going to chop this potato. That's the best part of the potato you just threw away. Well, that's what they all say. Now, what was that sign? In New York, you could be killed for that. <laughs> I think that I you could be our, too, Laban. <laughs> our the parking lot after the show. <laughs> well, come on now. Well, I'm trying. running commentary I'm going on as, the entire program. I'm is going hinging on as you fast today. as I can. And you dice up a potato, about quarter inch or so, maybe a little bit bigger, dice. And don't forget to stir it no, so it I doesn't burn. Okay, just now just that looks like it's about ready for some more ingredients here. Don't and I'm going to add, add three cans of chicken broth. Ever gonna get to do my part? Huh? This you need uh, two quarts of chicken broth and that is three cans of condensed broth. I'm just going to stand over here for a while, Laban, and, uh, and uh, stand over oh, here next okay. to the refrigerator. And, and that's all I, I'm going to do. Well, that'll be all right. Because he's, you know, doing it. Well, I mean, well, now you could show us those delicious carrots. Uh, as no, the, no, I don't want to interrupt your recipe. Now well, you're on a roll. Well, I'm trying so hard. What's There's that another now? Can. Another what, can. Another he can. He's put another can of something cans. else in there of chicken broth and three cans of water because this is the kind that is double strength. So Did you buy canned water? No, no. Oh, We're oh I see the, what you mean. The, okay. the fine uh, station water. And throw that in there. You know where the station water comes from, don't you? Know? <laughs> Let's not get into that. No. But anyway. Well, hey, boys and girls, this is Old Lair. Remember me? I'm going to be doing carrot soup. Now back to Laban. Well, for goodness sakes. <laughs> All right, here's one can of water. <laughs> uh, I'm having a good time, really. Well, I'm so glad you are. I'm thinking of going down the hall here's and appearing on somebody else's cans show for of a while. Water. Yeah, three. And one more. One more. For good luck. For good luck. And three and cans. And three of water. cans of water. And now I'm going to add a can that's two cups of crushed tomatoes. And this is some kind of tomatoes that's got Italian flavored with basil in it. And the tomatoes, as opposed to being whole, have been mashed around real big time. So they go in there mm, completely. Mm -mm. And stir it up and stir it up. And then here is a pound of cranberry beans. Cranberry dried beans? Dried beans, and they've been soaked overnight, and they go in here. I've never heard tell of cranberry beans. Well, you have now. Well, what are they? They're, they're dried beans. They're sort of like pinto beans, but they're redder. Oh. And so they go in there. And let me finish doing my potato here oh, while, take your time. while take Larry your time. explains to you all of the stuff that he's doing over there that is so interesting. Go ahead, Larry. Well, it's not that it's interesting, it's just that I need to do it while I'm on the air. Well, <laughs> After go we ahead, go off go the air, it's go too ahead, late. Go ahead, I don't mind. You go right Go right. Oh, ahead. Right. Thank you, thank you, Laban. Now, we're gonna start out I mean, I don't wanna stand in your way. Two cans of chicken broth. Or sit in your way. And we're gonna stick them in there. In way. And start heating that up. Now, be real careful about this shot, boys and girls. I had to use these glasses. <laughs> Oh, no, not those yes. trick glasses. Those trick glasses. Those I trick can't show glasses? you the other side, ladies and gentlemen. They're well, real they bad. Well, they have a anyway. person on the other side. <laughs> when you put water in them and the ice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, now what we do is we put that in there. That is chicken stock, uh -huh. all right? And what we need is, uh, I've forgotten the recipe. It's been so long since I started the show. A quart of chicken broth, all right? Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to do is take a pound of carrots, and you can chop them very, very uh, coarsely because what we're going to do is we're going to boil this, you see, 
and the onion. We're going to boil that, and then we're going to put it in uh, at the last minute before we serve it. We're going to put it in the blender and blend it all. So it doesn't really matter how. Well, just blend it all then. Incredibly much you cut these things up. So anyway. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to go through the whole nine yards because <laughs> I just lost Why half not? a care. Well, because I don't need to. I'm already boiling one over here. Otherwise, we'd never taste it. Oh. So anyway, I'm going to take an entire medium onion, and you coarse chop that also, of course, okay. as you know. Uh -huh. And no one can talk to an onion, of course. But anyway, now, just coarse chop it, and I've got to move along on this, or we're going to be in someone else's show here in a couple of minutes, and put that in there. And what you do, too bad an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you're right about that. And you put in there a pinch of Ow! sugar and a little bit, a pinch of mace. I beg your pardon. In the chicken Isn't that broth. The, stuff the postman uses and to keep you just Fido off his ankle. Boil that up. Huh? <laughs> what? Mace? Uh -huh. hey, let me throw something in your face. <laughs> Let's do Do you know what mace is? Uh, really, it's, I believe it's a part of the. Uh, what, a ginger family. No, it's it's the outer shell of the nutmeg. A nutmeg family. That's what I said. The nutmeg family. You remember them? They used to uh -huh. live next door here. The nutmeg yeah. family. Still Nutsy do. Nutsy people. They really uh -huh. were. Uh, now I'm already boiling the, the this brothers. stuff. There's and Sam you, and and uh, Rex. What you do is you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps uh, I have some production to do down the hall or something. Uh, anyway, now you just boil that stuff for a while until it gets real nice and soft, and in a couple of minutes what we're going to do is take that stock with that onion and that... Mm -hmm. Did I put everything in there I was supposed to put in? I can't remember in the real one, I mean. I can't remember what I... Did. <laughs> this is the one I've been boiling. I can't remember what goes in. Anyway, the fun part is, of course, when we put it in here and this stuff hits that stuff. Yeah, well, you, you remember want what it, happened yes, with I your, do, and, and please don't do it. Well, I'm, I think I know the secret. I oh, think good. I know what you did stupidly You and Gary day. Moore. <laughs> so anyway, we'll try that in a couple of minutes. Back to later. a joke for you older Back viewers to out there. All right, well, I'm, I'm snapping a pound of fresh green beans into this, and uh, this makes it uh, just real tasty. And does it make it real tasty? Oh, it does. These are just wonderful in here. Sugar, broth, onion, and carrots. Uh, Boy, uh, I've made a mess here for no more than I've done. I feel sorry for the person that's going to have to clean up today. Who's got to clean up today? <laughs> oh, sorry uh, about that. One of the interns. Isn't that a shame? That's yeah, awful. Well, well, let's see how many pots we can burn up. <laughs> <laughs> Where are all of the uh, pot holders? I don't know. They're over there. Somewhere. Do we have any idea? Yeah, I don't know. The Look pot around. holders. Huh? Hmm? Oh, you, we, they're signifying to us that we ought to have the recipe. Let's right. have those recipes. You go ahead and look. All right, the carrot, carrot soup. soup. Excuse me. A pound of carrots chopped, a medium onion chopped, mm -hmm. a quart of chicken broth, a pinch of sugar, and a pinch o mace. And uh, you're on, John. My recipe. But then you have been for an hour. For the minestrone, is it has a pound of cranberry beans soaked overnight. It's dried, of course. A pound of fresh green beans, a pound of raw potatoes chopped, three tablespoons of oil, a pound of onions chopped, two cups of chopped canned tomatoes, three cloves of garlic, salt and pepper to taste, which I'm about to put in, one medium carrot chopped, one rib of celery chopped. Four chicken breasties, split, bone, skin, diced, and iced. in bite-sized pieces, and you add that in two quarts of chicken stock. And when we come back on our visage here, I'm going to add our right now our visage. Visage. I'm adding here. The, here's the chicken. This and some that goes, kind of a German show. It goes right down in here, the raw chicken. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, hit what it. What do you reckon ought to hit? Blend, liquefy, puree, grate, mix, chop, or whip? What's it going to be, guys? Yes. yes. Well, I don't know. Maureen always likes the whip. <laughs> she does. She does. <laughs> Try something else. I don't think you've got enough liquid in it. I think you're right. <laughs> well, well, that's the worst you heard looking it here, mess folks. I've ever that's seen the first time life. in the last three months you <laughs> told me I was right about something. <laughs> Hang on a second. I think I need to pour some of this liquid in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't have any hot pads. I can't touch anything. This is a terrible mess. 
<laughs> I'm going to stand here and put this stuff in until I get it all in there. That's all. Laban, it's up to you all now right, to well, save the show. I'm Lord knows stirring. you've done all the rest of it. All right, I'm stirring. The, I've got just a few more beans here. And then you need... Well, you know your beans. Right. Now, huh? you need salt and pepper, and I'll put that in <laughs> Ain't right going to happen now. in four minutes, guys. I can I, tell you with that this, right you now. need about a <laughs> tablespoon of salt <laughs> and a big hearty... Laurel and hearty? Yeah, laurel and hearty dash of pepper. He's never going to know. Plenty of pepper. And I've got oregano here. You do. And you want about a tablespoon of dried oregano. Oh, now you did it. Now you did it. Looks like there's been someone here not having a very good time. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that since I quit teaching high school. I think an overhead <laughs> shot is more than enough on this. <laughs> what is it that we do wrong, ladies and gentlemen, in TV land uh, when we do hot soups? And Well, this stuff looks like pumpkin soup. This is the worst looking mess I've ever seen. Where'd you get this it recipe? It does look Jones? a little unappetizing. It, well, I, it smells good, though. And speaking of unappetizing. <laughs> Where is the witch? <laughs> Get the witch in here. i got to put a little uh, chives and, on there. And we've also got to, oh, you've got the ladle out. So I've got the ladle, and i got the chives. <laughs> what? Where's the and witch? And i got to have a hot plate. From I think the too. witch just flew over here. I think that's the, pro oh, there oh, she, here is. she is. <clears throat> All right. Well, come here, honey. What a mess. <clears throat> Bye. This stuff doesn't look very appetizing to Dear me. Dear guys, cook some real cheap soup that will stick to your ribs and make you walk like a man on these dark nights. Don't give us any wimpy cold soup either, just something cheap and heavy. And it's from Mary Sue Hutton in Lamar, Kansas. <laughs> well, well, Mary Sue, I'm going please, away. I'd like to meet her. I'm leaving. All right, well now, let me bring over this soup. This is our... Menastroni. Well, this is the strangest looking soup I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what I think of it, <clears throat> but we'll give it a try here. It's real strange. Hmm? <laughs> that many, huh? <laughs> well, does that mean we have to eat this stuff? There's still time? Hmm. And I'll pour out a big helping portion. It's a good soup, believe it or not. I don't, this, it's the, just the color of it that's real strange, but what do you expect when you grind up carrots, for heaven's sake? But it is good soup. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Mmm. If I must say so myself, oh. and I must, because no one else will. Now, what is this mess this is, that you worked on for four it's hours? It's a mess. And you have to cook that for two hours. I think it too, takes too long to make this soup, <laughs> to be honest with you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That well, that's too. real. Mmm. Nice. It is. No, oh. the, the carrot soup. I want to try the minister. <laughs> well, I'll swear to well, goodness. Well, it is. He has skipped over mine and I gone on to it. his. I tried it. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. I don't know whether I'm going to be back next week. I'll be honest with you. Well, you know, the last time. I've been invited on Golden Girls as a stand-up Oh, give comedian. me a break. What? You belong on Golden Girls. <laughs> it's in your age range. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sick <laughs> Let of me it. tell you. I'm sick of it. The last time you served me something like this, you remember, was when I got that little piece of rubber in it. <laughs> it's the truth. That's true. I went to his house. He served me a pumpkin soup, and it was a little rubber washer out the bottom of the blender. It came up through while I was doing the carrots, and, and I, I didn't know what it was. You, you, I got good teeth, but I couldn't eat that. <laughs> we got to mm. get out of it here before we get into it. Yeah. See you next week. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>